<laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no, there isn't. Wait, you don't hear what? I don't hear the intro. Yeah, no. I <laughs> so I went to click it. See, this is perfect. We're we're starting. We're we're keeping this in. I went to start the intro, and it said error file not found, <laughs> and that just sums up this perfect amalgamation of this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your 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 easy achievers game podcast for the week of march 25th 2021 i'm one of your hosts elijah sitting across from me digitally through the internet alex and obviously it's very being horribly bad because i'm super behind on this. <laughs> you're super behind you know what this is going to be a plan for the audience. See if you can figure out exactly how far he's behind. Maybe you can match up some sort of word or phrase. Maybe some sort of movement. Have fun with it. Leave in the comments. The closest will get a Rice Krispie treat. Not the not the no. cheap not the cheap one. Not the small little cheap one. ones. My wife makes homemade ones. Is that is so? Are you offering her a Rice Krispie treat or or? I mean. Like, does she have to make it now? I guess she's entitled. I guess she has to now. Okay, well, Alex now offered that his wife will now make the Rice Krispie treat for whoever gets the Sorry. <laughs> the correct time frame of how far behind. Oh now, my god, it's so off putting on it, how behind my thing it, It's <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. Again, the audience can have fun with it. The the achievers can have some fun with it's it. Weird because I'm talking, but then I'm drinking something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, audience. I, just can't. I like that. I like, I'm talking and I'm drinking something. It's, it's, it's because this I need, like, I, need, I need a Wi Fi booster back here. Cause yeah, you do. Goodness. You do. I mean, I'm, I'm, I did a Wi Fi assessment. And it says it has to wait, it has to do two weeks of mine. So it shows like how it is. It's like, oh, we have to make sure that your your stuff is actually dropping because we're not going to give that for you for free. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I guess. But hopefully they see this. Now, look. Send them this clip. 1,200 megabytes, 40. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's a little nonsense. Figure your stuff out, Comcast, Xfinity. Don't get in the comments with that. Whatever you want to call yourself, all right? Figure your thing out with the upload. Why is upload so bad? I get it. We're in Georgia. You don't care about us. I get it. All right. But you don't like the clay. We Hey, we get it. You don't like the clay. But figure out the uploads. There's literally no reason not to. This could literally be us just complaining about Com Comcast. So we have to we have to stop it there. This could That could be the whole episode. But I, we have to quit. It, it, it will be the whole thing. I, I just looked up and saw oh, Alex say yes, I did. I did. Oh, thank you so much for thank you so much for taking the time to click on this. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now, this is like I said, the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We come to you every single week on Fridays. Sometimes we have the news we think you should know. Now, if you want to help us out, that's pretty easily. Some say easily achievable. I don't know. I'm still workshopping that. Go over to youtube.com slash easy achievers. Not really. Search easy achievers. We'll eventually get that URL. But right now, just, just search it, please, for the love of God. Then you can subscribe to our feed. That gives you every single video, every single Friday, plus our spoiler casts that comes out whenever we feel like making one. And then you can like, comment, and subscribe, and share with a buddy. You know that weird guy that you really like? You like hanging out with uh, around lunchtime. He always has that weird kind of tomato sandwich thing. It's just like a mayo tomato, and you don't want to bring it up, and you don't want him to talk about it. What so you people... yeah. what? Yeah, you've never talked to people like this. Uh, <laughs> sure. Yeah, you've never had, you've never talked to someone that just eats like just like a condiment and a piece of bread. Yes. Like, I know someone that does that. I'm not going to put no, that person on blast. I think, I, I think. I think, I think everyone, I think we all know who it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. And if you're listening to a podcast service, don't worry. You're not cut out. You have to do work, too. You can scroll down. You see that little subscribe button? Bloop. Now you are fully subscribed, free of charge. All right. You haven't given us any money yet, so relax. But... 
you can still leave a five-star review too. So take a couple of seconds, do that for us. We really appreciate it. Do one of those things, just one of those, and we'll be really appreciated. And that makes you an achiever. And if you want to be even more of an achiever, you can go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. That's how you can support us monetarily. Now, there's a bunch of tiers that you can look at through. Uh, the one I'm a fan of is just the plain dollar tier. It's literally pennies a day. You give us a buck, you forget about it. We're on your credit card statement forever. And every time you look at it, you go, I miss them. And you have a whole thing every month. But before that, you can use those tiers. You can DM us, specifically us, me and Alex. We read every single one. You can leave a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea Good. anytime you want. <laughs> And if you, and we would really appreciate it. There's more tiers you can look at when you get there, but I recommend just one dollar. Now, I'm done talking about all those things, all the promos and things like that. It's, it's, it's over. It's over. We're stuck. We're, I mean, there's no more. No more, Alex. What I want to talk about is the thing I always ask you every single week. Just that one question. I, I, and, I, and I want to ask it one more time. What have you been playing? That's a very good question. Mm, it's a fantastic question. And there's only... It's like three answers three to answers. that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, three answers, yeah. I do know. I've been playing all of them with you, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> all right, so number one. Valorant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number two. Star Wars The Old Republic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually. Number two, Apex. Number one, the most one that we've been playing the most is Star Wars Old Republic. Okay, so I like the scheming there. So so number one was Valorant. Then number two was Star Wars. Then you immediately went back on that. And now it's... And then, <laughs> then it was Apex. Then number one again was Star Wars. So we have one, two, then a little scratch off. Two, three, then then one again. <laughs> if I was a good animator, I would do the like it would pop up on the video. Yes. So like the names, and then all you see is like like uh one Apex or one you see one gets scratched off mm -hmm. and then gets jumped over. Mm -hmm. The achievers are talented. Someone will do that. Tweet it at us. Oh, yeah. Now, you you said a couple things, right? Yeah. Apex, I don't care about. We talk about there. We, I don't I don't want to hear about that. I want to talk about Valorant. First thing, because that's not something I think you would play normally. What, what, yeah. what, what? First off, what brought you to it? I think I know the answer to that. <laughs> Second, uh, uh, what is yeah. keeping you? Okay. Number one, having a rig that I can actually play. That's a good point. Yeah, you can actually play the game, man. That's important. Yeah. Um, and then two is keeping me, just because I've been in the mood for a fast-paced shooter. Right. Because, I, like I said, I love Quake. I actually turned Quake Three Arena the other day on. Oof. It's dated, but it's fun. Um, and I was like, you know, Valorant's kind of quick and, it, and it's hard, but I want to give it a shot. Valorant is and, not quick. Uh, it can be. It's like, sure, true, true. Depends on the mode. I meant quick as in you get you die super fast. <laughs> uh, I literally was doing a match that I streamed earlier. Yeah. And it's caught on tape. I literally peaked a second. Not even, not even half my body came out. Boss. I'm like, All right. I didn't even know I was there. I threw a, I was playing Sova and mm -hmm. threw that arrow that shows you everywhere, dude, and nobody was there. I'm like, "All right, you just came out of nowhere." But it's fun, and I think I've been really in the mood to play. I want, I've been wanting to play Overwatch. Me too. I just, no, we haven't gone back to it yet. Correct. Yeah, and also, would I wanted to try it on PC, but they don't do the cross progression, cross play thing. I don't want. Yeah. I'm not starting over. I play too much Overwatch. Start. I've, I've done Overwatch on two different consoles. I don't think I need to do it on, on, on PC again. I could see you doing it, though. Most likely. Star Wars The Old Republic. Oh. Something we've both been playing. That's really all I have been playing. So I, this is going to be my segment as well for the week. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, I know everyone's like listening like, the, the what? Don't you mean uh, like Soul Tour? Like, like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? Isn't that what you think? Like Cold Tour? No, no. So this is, if you don't know, it's an MMO. Came out, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong, 2010? Feels right. Mm, let's find out. Feels right. Might be a little too late. I don't know. But 2010, I want to say. And it is still huge. It's literally 2011. an... 2011. 2011. Ah, that's close. 
it is a huge game. I mean, huge in both ways. Huge as in people still play it regularly. Like, plenty I, of people. Dude, it's which, by the way, this year, it'll hit 10 years. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to do anything big for that. Oh, I hope so. I mean, too. Uh, and we and, uh, to Brass Tax, it's a huge game. I'm not explaining the entire max. No. I will give you the top, top layers. You can play Dark Side, Light Side. Light Side, you have two different versions of a jedi you have a um uh, stormtrooper clone trooper kind of person you know whatever you want to call it and you have a um smuggler dark side is the exact same but dark side so it's two different versions of sith you have um the imperial agent and the bounty hunter um and there's also two subclasses in each one i just mentioned so there's technically two versions of each thing i just said Alex is dead. He died. He just died. I heard him. I heard. I just heard you gasp, and then just nothing. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't know what that is. But but it's not like you were ready to talk, and then you immediately rejected that Alfred to talk. Go ahead. I was about to talk, but I thought you were gonna keep going. So no, 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 no. You're good. Go ahead. But, uh, but no, yeah, no. There's eight classes, and mm -hmm. you can do stories for, and mm -hmm. then there's expansions. Yep. We recently got on and started playing the knights of the fallen empire expansion yes and oh, we did a level boost that got us to 60 that was awesome yep. so we skipped a bunch of stuff it is a lot at once but it's fun mm -hmm. but it's it, fun it, yeah it's fun and we're, we're we're having a blast we did a, our first flash point i think that's what it's called it's like a dungeon or strike if you've ever played destiny My but God. long you got you make sure you have an hour and a half to two hour or like ready for you we I weren't really, we weren't ready for that we, we were I like really yeah this should be quick <laughs> no so i put on an xp boost it was, i meant to put the minor which is an hour and i was like oh yeah i'll get off by then i accidentally hit the three hour one which is the major one and i was like whoops i won't use all of this i look at it i have an hour left in it i'm like i i i used it pretty well <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, you still have it when you log in too, which is really nice. They don't, they don't waste it like some other things do. No, yeah, too. that's that's what like what what is it? Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Whatever you use, you better use it. If not, it's gone. It's lame, Activision. Yeah, but so far, great. Like, I'm, I'm, I wish they would put it on console. I wish they would go more with it. Yeah, I wish they would put it on console. It's never going to happen. And they would have done it by now. But I wish they would too. Um, they, I'm, it might be some weird legal thing because I'm pretty sure that I think this was Maybe. sold before before the star wars acquisition from disney so there could be in some weird legal area with this i have no idea Maybe. um i won't pre i won't pretend to know who knows who knows um but that's what we've been playing so I'll, i want to move on to news alex first news this is a rumor and it's one of those things where it's a rumor, but it's kind of confirmed so we know it's going on but we don't know if the thing is actually real so I'm going to give you the brass tag. Take it with a grain of salt if you'd like to. Um, so this is according to Bloomberg and a couple other places I was searching around when I was looking this up. Discord, the of course, first off, we're using Discord right now. It's an incredibly prevalent PC kind of chat room. Is it measure? You can use it for video calls, all that thing. It's like a big chat room feature on PC. It's huge. With anyone who plays PC, you generally use Discord for just about anything. With partying up with your friends to just basically talking um are looking for potential buyers um it it would that's actually you could say leak i guess i i don't know if you would call it a leak they might have did this purposely who knows but they said or leaked that they were looking for buyers i want to say this was monday i heard about this then two days later this rumor came out it looks like um not only are they looking for buyers they're looking for about a 10 billion dollar um buyout and this is, of course, none other by on this show. It's perfect. Microsoft is looking apparently at the deal. Um, first off, that's the most obvious choice, right? Like, if, if you even hear that, like, who would buy Discord? Microsoft's the easiest thing. It's Microsoft, right? So you get the entire base of Discord into PC, and you can get it natively too if you oh, do your cards right. So it makes sense. Um, again, this is a rumor, and even if it 
isn't a rumor, there is of course no guarantee that Microsoft will buy them. Now, Microsoft is very flush with cash, so they could just buy them just to do it. So, it. yeah, just to do it for fun. They do that all the time. They don't do Mixer anymore and stuff like that. So right. you, would, you would think they would create or like pick up Discord and maybe even create a streaming side thing with Discord since they already have the chat thing. Because they mm. stream with Discord. True. I don't think they would. I think they're done with that. I think they're like looked at Mixer and we're like, yeah, we don't like that very much. And we're just, I don't think they're ever going back to that. I think what they'll do is if they do buy this, integrate it into their service, kind of like they did with Skype, because didn't they buy Skype? Pretty, pretty sure they did. Um, integrate it with their service. Hopefully they don't kill it like they did Skype, because I feel like no one uses Skype anymore. And then, and then. Uh, marry it with all their devices of course xbox that'd be a huge huge deal with xbox if you can if we can have discord discord quality audio on microsoft or xbox that'd be amazing oh that'd be so awesome and the and one plus thing about discord is the latency is very low especially if you have really good ping and all that other pc factors if you're hardwired and things like that if you're really low like your communication is almost instantaneous that was one of the things that got them really popular See, like my audio is perfect right now with you guys. Mm -hmm. My video, don't. Mm -hmm. don't. Again, Rice Krispie treats on the uh, table. Like, if you can figure out this, the, the no, delay, this, it could be my side. Like I said, I'm in the back with no booster. It probably me. Alex, did you just do a magic trick? You were talking while sipping a drink. Were you doing like one of those magicians where they sip the water and still talk? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. This. Again, I didn't even want to put this on there, but I want, I want to quick hit. First off, as you can tell, slow news day. Slow, slow news week. Not too much to talk about. So, so I threw, yeah, we're chilling. We're having fun. So I threw this out here just to kind of have a quick conversation about it, and I kind of like stir in the pot of the rumor nonsense. So let's do it for a little bit. Uh, Kojima Productions next game is coming, quote, soon, end quote. It, it, it's, this is a conversation with Al Hub. And uh, the art director at Kojima Productions, who you might have to help me here, Alex Yuji Shinkawa. Shin, uh, Shinkawa. I I think I feel like I'm, I'm butchering this. Yeah, no Shinkawa. Right. You Shinkawa. Okay. Shed some light. Shed some light on the next title that the developer is working on. Well, Shikawa did not write state any specifics on what the game could be in relation to. He did express that it's going to be revealed in the near future. Quote, well, yeah, I am doing something for sure. And I could tell you probably that it could, that we can announce it quite soon. End quote, he expressed. When it comes to type tables, he revealed nothing and he said nothing more. Um, he, of course, is tied to Kojima Projections. Most likely he was talking about whatever next game that Kojima is working on. Um, oh, we do know that they are working on a extended edition of Death Stranding, whatever that means. Don't know what that means. Maybe there's more to the game. Maybe there's less. Maybe. Yeah, DLC, I could, yeah, maybe that, that, that could make sense. Um, so he he could announce that, like he could maybe have his own state of play or something. Or if it's not PlayStation tied, which again, I wanna bring up that we talked, I think two weeks ago on the show that <laughs> Phil Spencer, had the Kojima figure next to Xbox that like like everyone freaked out about. Mm -hmm. Again, if, it could no, be nothing, but it's a little if, weird. If Death Stranding would come to Xbox, would you replay it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I I, I don't know if I want to replay that game. No, I w if it has to be a at a time when there's nothing out okay well i feel like you immediately walked that back but for sure okay yeah if, if there's nothing else out maybe i'm just saying if you would i mean that's when i would do it well the achievements would be nice of course you know you guys know the achievers know i like achievements so i'm going for the achievements mainly but i just want to bring that up i don't really have anything else to say about it i think it would be cool if it is actually tied to xbox um i don't think we have enough evidence just by saying Phil had a statue next to his Xbox symbol, but he literally put out a system behind his thing once before, if you remember that, Alex? Mm -hmm. The Series S. The Series S. Yeah, the Series the S was on his face. shelf, and he just and just no one ever noticed, because it just looks like a white box. Yeah, it just looks like it's just sitting on the shelf. So he, he's so he does like messing with people, clearly. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is real, maybe he was just messing with us. Timing, oddly weird.
timing was oddly weird. So I'm pretty wouldn't be surprised if something comes about that. Maybe they maybe Death Stranding oh De uh, I, Death Stranding won't go to Xbox because I believe PlayStation owns the IP from that. Um, so I don't think they could get it. I, yeah, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they do, but if you want to Google that for me, I don't know. But I don't know. Xbox Insiders. We're moving on to a quick update for the Insider program. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically like you can sign up to be like um, almost like a beta tester for software upgrades for the Xbox, and you get things, you know, you get newer features earlier, but it is a little more buggy for the. Uh, um, and, but you do get it way quicker than the general audience would. So you get more buggy tech, but it's the most recent stuff. So a lot of people do it. Um, and they announced today that the Xbox insiders in Alpha Skip Ahead and Alpha have gotten the multiplayer and free-to-play games for free feature, the looking for groups feature, and the party chat on Xbox feature for free. So they're basically debuting and testing out the feature that xbox live gold does not need um is not needed for free-to-play games looking for groups and party chat so cool yeah i then i i inter interesting i i guess i get like why they're hesitant to just immediately unlock this maybe i mean tech is weird so this could mess something up but i did find that interesting that they're testing out making something free but maybe they have to make sure like nothing crazy happens. Which is crazy because they, I guess they didn't have it before. I was about to say they had Xbox Silver, but you couldn't really play games. Silver, you could. I couldn't. I thought I don't know why my mind keeps saying you could. You just couldn't. Like, I can't talk remember. To party or something like that. You couldn't talk to party chat for sure. And I don't think you were able to do something else. But I feel like you were able to get online. I just don't. I don't remember. God, why am I blanking I on this? You were able to like be connected online, but you weren't able to actually play online. Like you were able to be. I think you were. I think it's vice versa. I think you were able to be in a party, or like be like active, like to where you can see your friends list. But I don't think you were able to actually play online. Let me see. It's bothering me now. That yeah, that's killing me. I want to say, you. No, that doesn't make sense. You, there's no way they let you play online, right? What could you do then? <laughs> it had to be something you could have done. I just don't remember what you could do. Um, while he does that, I'm going to show off the new colors for the controllers that Microsoft announced. There are two new colors. I'm going to click that. We're going to click this. We're going to do that. There we go. Right there, Achievers, right here. So right there we have the uh, two new features. Alex, I'll let you come right back. Let me let me just show this off. Electric Colt and Daybreak Camo. Now, that I'm pretty sure that's Electric Bolt, and I just misspelled that. So let's just go ahead and just, there we go, Electric Bolt. And Daybreak Camo. These look kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of liking this Electric Bolt neon green thing they got going here. Daybreak Camo. I'm not a huge fan of the camo designs. I, th I think it's just too busy, in my opinion. I love the simplicity of a single color in a um, controller. So I'm a fan of this kind of more brighter thing. And you're not losing this thing in the dark. This thing is definitely a, a glow in the nighttime. All right, go ahead, up. I was trying to go back because I had like um, the one that I was reading. Um, it said that I got switched because it says right here, the f the it's from LifeWire. Um, the free version of Xbox Live, previously known as Xbox Live Silver, includes features that were once available to gamers with paid gold subscriptions. Microsoft dropped the silver design uh, designation and now offers free Xbox Live, uh, which the features are you know you can. Preview upcoming games, access betas, make a friends list, uh, download games and add-ons from the marketplace. Uh, you can do voice text and voice chat. You could go on the internet, earn achievements, and enjoy an entertainment. You just cannot play online. So you can do everything else, but you cannot play online. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much silver what it was. You can do everything on there. So you can 
uh, connect to the internet. You can do everything you want. But okay. You can. You couldn't. You couldn't. Uh, and you could even get into. You can't. I remember you couldn't even get into a party. You can only do like the little text chat thing. That's like, like, right. Yeah. Private, private I can't believe I forgot about that. Yeah. You yeah, you could chat. text to each other. Yeah. Yeah. You can do private chat, and that was it. You couldn't do an actual party chat, which was I think it was up to six to eight players. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Party chat was up to eight back then. Back then. Mm -hmm, yeah. Now knows. you can get up to like twelve. I think. Or 16? 16, something 16, like that. I think. I think 16, yeah. I think you're right. But yeah, no. You can do everything that you can, but no, you, can, you can't play. You can't play online. online. Yeah, you can't play online. online. Okay. I couldn't remember, because I, I wanted to say you can't play online for sure. And, and, but so, for some reason, it was hesitant. Couldn't you not download demos or something? No, I said you could. You could? Yeah. I feel like there was a really super specific rule about the online store that you couldn't do when you were sober. And I don't remember what it was. I feel like it was like something where the achievers, let me know. Someone out there remembers they're they're hitting their head on the keyboard like, oh my god, I know what it is. Comment, tweet at us, please. This is gonna bother me. Date update. Date update. We're already at date updates again. This is a, a quick show. A quick show. We're gonna we're in and out. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get you the, the news you need to know. Date updates. Now this is not really a day of day. I just want to remind everyone. The Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection is leaving the eShop March 31st. Now, this comes with a bunch of caveats. I want to make it clear. Leaves the eShop March 30th. So if you want to buy it and have it digitally on your Nintendo Switch, you have to buy it before the 31st. So if you're listening to this on Friday, you have about four days left. Now, second... You can still buy it at retailers after that day. That is still stocks um, or supplies last. Third, it's really weird. So apparently retailers will still sell the digital copy what? until they turn that off. They said it would last past that. It sounds super stupid, complicated for no reason. I don't know why they're doing this. It is very strange that Nintendo is doing this. I don't know why they, they continue to Nintendo Nintendo, but they're doing it. F they, f just just don't come at me when you see a code at a retailer, right? I told you. Should still be active, that's what they said. Weird. Al Alex, we, it, it was just weird. That's just, I, I don't know why they're doing this. I don't know why they're taking it away. I don't see the, I don't see the point. Then why, yeah, why the why take it away then yeah i don't i don't know why i why are you taking it off of your shop then that's how you make them that's you make the most money that way yeah, I mean, if, the, you do if you do it through a retail you don't you gotta like, you, you give them a cut yeah, exactly. why are you doing that <laughs> I, I, uh, maybe maybe nintendo's like hey we're gonna help you <laughs> i doubt that um moving on from the nintendo thing uh this is straight up from turtle rock alex sent me this this morning actually Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rock Studios sent out a tweet, and you know it's bad when it's a picture and there's text on top of it. That's when you immediately know, like, oh no, either someone had a harassment or or this is a, a delay. Let's see which one it is. Turtle Rock Studios is working hard to make Back for Blood the best game it could possibly be at launch, and the team needs more time to do that. This therefore means that it will release October twelfth of this year, twenty twenty one. We thank our community for continuing support, and we're excited to share. That there will be an open beta this summer. Cool. Got delayed. Let, let, give it its time. It's okay. COVID delay. I think we've all seen this coming. So many games are getting delayed now, right? Honestly, Every I, I just hope they don't pick a wrong week around, because that's around the holidays, so it's so it doesn't sync. Mm. Because I we don't know much of what's coming out this holiday. We, we know, know nothing. We, we know Halo. Halo. Halo, we know Breath of the Wild 2 exists. I don't know if that's coming out, but we know it exists. Um, Metro Pride Form it exists. We're getting Horizon Zero Dawn. <sighs> that's it. There's probably some other stuff. Gotham got delayed. Suicide Squad got delayed. Not delayed, sorry. It never was this year. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Right? Hogwarts got delayed. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Halo, Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, no, well, no this is sometime halfway through the year. I didn't even know this was coming out this year. Bio Mutant. Well, I forgot about that game. Uh, 
It's it's coming out apparently, and I believe it when that thing is on a store and people are playing it. I don't. I'm not gonna believe it until that is in someone's PlayStation or Xbox. It's supposed to be like like June somewhere around there. Unless it's in someone's Xbox or place. Hey, don't even tell me a date. Don't even tell me a date. Why are people so excited for this, Alex? What, the Biomune? Yeah, what's up with this? Dude, I don't know. I haven't even seen anything for it. It just doesn't look appealing to me. You know how many people have told me about this game and how excited they are? I, yeah, I don't even know what it is. I don't Let's even see. know what it is, Alex. Let's see. Oh, weird. All right. Oh. The first question from like me like looking it up. Oh, no. Like The first question is from the website, and it says, Biomune is a post-apocalyptic kung fu fable. With a unique martial arts style combat system allowing to mix melee shooting and mutant ability action. <sighs> no, that didn't sound real. Why, you made all that up. Why is the website like not in English? Um, Can I? They might. They might not be in an um, English studio. Interesting, because yeah, I literally went to its website and I have no idea what any of this is saying. Oh, it's a, there it is. Dutch, English. Here we go. I found the English. Achievers, this is a this is what we're going to call Casual Friday today. Mm. We're going to watch this trailer together. Okay. And, and we're going to give our live thoughts. Can I do this? No, I can't. I might have just destroyed everything. Hold on. What happened? Hold on. Okay. No, let's not, let's not do that. Can I not? Oh, I, I can't cry. I, I'm, I got it. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're starting. Okay. I feel like I shouldn't have audio on. I feel like that's bad. Maybe a little bit of audio. Okay, alright. This. What is this thing? Alright, there's some. There's something that did a bunch of flips and shot a machine gun. It's a lot of movement, it looks yeah, like. It's, it's martial arts. It's or it's kung fu shooting and you know, a bunch of stuff. I and I have no idea what's going on. That was a mech. That was a unicorn. That was like a unicorn fish hamster thing. What was this? Hold on, we're going back. Where is it? Where was this at? I want to see the unicorn thing. I don't know, but this is making what me is this? Really, like, like crazy. What is this thing? What? Look at that thing. Is that a hamster? That is like it's like a hedgehog with a unicorn horn. It looks like a mohawk. Thing. Achievers, I'm sorry. I, I, this is a YouTube video for sure. Uh, apologies. You just go to the timestamp in the in the YouTube if you want to see this trailer. This is wild. It's this is some hedgehog unicorn thing, and it's got it's it's confusing. Oh, there's little zaps going around, so it's like a comic book lettering. Again, don't know why people are excited for this. I don't know if this is a popular series. I've, n I've never heard of it. One day, one day, I never heard of Buy Me, and the next day, everyone talked about it. I don't know what happened. People are really excited about this, and they're really sad. Pre-order now, coming May 25th. Xbox One, PS4, PC. Oh, there's a little end trailer. I won't. Here, let's see what the end trailer is. Special pre-order class, Mercenary. It's like a little panda man. I mean... The oh god that was terrifying jesus you want to <laughs> never mind you handcrafted case <laughs> from chipotle all right let me oh wait no cancel that hold on oh jesus i'm destroying everything Achievers, this is what we go through on a daily basis yeah just not complete nonsense yeah mm -hmm. and then i'm still not in sync <laughs> So I'm sure probably, like at this point somebody is probably like why doesn't he just turn off his his camera already i'm hoping someone used the timestamps and have no idea what's going on and they're like is he like a magician what is he doing <laughs> like like this like an like is he like doing a trick mm -hmm. all right alex yeah i'm gonna fuck with this camera while you do this sure okay alex that is the news you can see me a bunch of times now in the YouTube video. That's the news for the week. Now, if you're new, we'd like to end the show a little, a little more relaxing. You're going into the weekend, and we want to relax with you. So we're going to chill. Usually talk about a game we're going to play. But before we do that, I want to remind you, patreon.com slash YouTubers. Give us a bug. Helps us out a lot. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. That helps us out a lot, too. Help us with those algorithms. We want more achievers in with us. So the way we get more achievers... Unfortunately, is abusing algorithms. So you have to hit like on everything. Please. Please. 
Alex said, please. Now you have to do it. Now you're obligated morally to do it. Now, Alex, I'm done with the pimping. What do you want to talk about? We can talk about your weekend, if you'd like. What you're going to play over the weekend. If there's some sort of movie or TV show you're interested in. I know I have one. Okay. Would you like me to lead off? Yeah, go for it. So I can get an idea. Achievers. Are you sitting down? I hope you are. If you're not, please sit down. So I'll, I'll wait. Go ahead. Oh, that's a nice chair. Now, there's a little thing called Amazon. It's a small, small company, not, not big at all. And we're, we're, not, we're not worried about monopolies or anything. So, <laughs> Alex looks like a rape party. I'm gonna try to ignore it. I'm gonna try to ignore it. It looks like you're being dusted, dude. It looks like Thanos just snapped his fingers. You're being dusted in front of my eyes. Okay, first off. Do you have anything extra open? Because I, cause I no. feel like it's you. No, it's not me, bro. You see how he tries to blame it on me? I don't feel like it's me, man. It is, bro. It is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you. No, 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 no. I'm sorry you're getting Thanos dusted right now. <laughs> no. Where's <Good boy. laughs> Now, a little thing called Amazon. Now there's a thing called Amazon Prime Video. They are debuting the Invincible show. What's Invincible, you may ask? Now, the creator of The Walking Dead made a comic series called Invincible. It's completely out. He already finished the series. And right now, you could literally go and read all of the comics. They're amazing. If you're interested in reading or comic books at all, I implore you, please go check it out. Read the first volume. Please. Before judging it, try not to try to get through the first five to six issues, please. There's something special happens, and if, and at that point, if you think it's still not for you, fine, leave it. But the show, very interesting. It looks beautiful. Looks literally out of the comic books. Very excited for it. It actually dropped today, and you can go watch it right now if you wanted to. We are going to watch it. Oh, I'm trying to uh, not trying. Rebecca said she'd watch it with me tomorrow, so I'm very excited. To watch it tomorrow. Try it out. I'll let you know my review Monday. Maybe I'll do it. If it's really good, I'll do an episode by myself just talking about it. If not, I'll... Oh, no, I'll, 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 definitely be, I'll definitely be part of it, too. Because okay. just from what you sent me, I'm like, this is like Superman's, like like those animated movies. But like awesome. like it looks awesome. I think you'd be into it, Alex. I really do. I think you'd enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I've never read it, too. So I, I want to give that a shot, too. i say watch the show. Mm -hmm. If you're interested... Go into that comic. Comics, it's a, it's a lot of issues. So it, it seems daunting to people, and I get that. It's a lot of issues. It's over twenty-ish volumes. That's a, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of pages. I I spent actually like a, a solid weekend to a week reading all of them. I blazed through it. I, I couldn't I couldn't put it down. Um, sounds like I'm just shilling for Invincible now, but it, but it really is really good. Um, they're not sponsored. I wish they were. Uh, but <laughs> Amazon, you can check it out today. You can check it out. I think it comes out every single Thursday, I want to say. It might be Friday. Okay. I don't know if they do the weird midnight thing. Is it on again? Amazon Prime. Almost got it. Yeah. Amazon Prime. Uh, it's a exclusive, so you can't get it anywhere else, unfortunately. You do have to have Amazon Prime or do illegal things. But that's the only way. I'm very excited. I hope, I hope it, someone listens to this and goes, I'll try it out. And they're like, Alex, mm -hmm. you got anything you're excited for? Next week. Next week on Wednesday, Godzilla versus Kong. Hmm. Are you watching that as soon as it comes oh, out? Yeah. 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 You are. HBO Max, correct? Mm hmm. For mm -hmm. now, now I'm gonna say the words free. You know what I mean by that? It's not free. You we need Max, HBO correct? Max. Yes. Okay. So, so yes, you need HBO Max. Gotcha. So you need Max. No additional fee. Once you pay for HBO Max, no additional fee. Not like a Disney Premiere. Like you have, you have to have the subscription, and then you pay extra to buy. Correct for the movie. No, no, you just it's like Justice League. When it comes on HBO Max, you can stream. Yeah, it. Yeah, the Snyder Cut. Hey man, I watched it. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed had fun it. With it. It was it was nice, good nonsense fun. That's what I wanted. I love, and you guys know I love. I, mean, I we love Superman a lot. I mean, he, he was cool. A little late. Oh yeah, Superman. Sure, I didn't. Even, I forgot. He he was he was cool in it. I wish we would see that universe play out. We're never gonna see it. It's fine. I wish I wish we got more, but it's time to let it die. 
Yeah, I feel like if they would have done this to begin with, and maybe did it like Justice League did it in two parts, I feel like it would have been great. I see where you're going. I, I yeah, yeah. Like before the other ones came out, like like, mm-hmm. like I feel like they would have had, like I'm not gonna lie, what they did with Avengers, like you know they had their own solo movies, they had Justice League Part One, like half of it, and mm-hmm. then they cut off like at a certain scene in the Snyder Cut, and then. And then next time they they come out, they have that one and they continue it. Yeah, I, I know I'm not saying anything like unique here, but it's clear that they rushed into this. They wanted to make the Avengers movie before they made the solo movies. Don't know who thought that was a good idea, but terrible idea. Never do that. That that gives nothing weight. Nothing has weight because you haven't spent time with these characters. Yeah, like we still apparently we're still getting the Flash movie. I was like, oh, are they still going to be? Are we? Like watch what watch like everybody's gonna be recasted. There's already a new Batman. There already talks about a new Superman. I don't know how long one of them is gonna be around. Did you see that there's now like new Batman like canon? Mm-hmm. Like now there's the Batman. Now he's canon, I, I believe. And then, uh, I'm blanking on his name, Alex. Mm-hmm. Eighty nine Batman. Michael. Ke- Michael Keaton. Keaton. Yes. Yes. yes Keaton's yes. Batman is also canon. It just seems like they picked two movies at random. I don't know. That seems just weird that that Keaton and him are can. I don't know, but cool. I'm excited. Now, would you watch the Flash movie if Keaton was the Batman Flashpoint version? That sounds fun. Yeah, no, I, I want. I'm gonna watch anything Batman. All right. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. Let's let's make it clear. We'll watch anything. We're just spitballing here, like if or when. I mean, there's an animated movie called ba- the Batman Ninja One. Like, like he's like I haven't watched it, but I heard it's good. I got like halfway through. Right? I couldn't finish it. I couldn't keep good. my. I, I, it's good, but it was like that thing where I which wasn't in the mood to watch a movie, uh, so I was I was forcing it. It's my fault. I got you. Yeah. I shouldn't have done it, but but I was trying to watch it, and I was like, eh, I'm gonna play a video game. Maybe it's one of those things. Now, what I am gonna do, and just for you, since you did Attack on Titan. Thank you. I am going to start my hero. Cool. And I will start episode one tonight. I'm excited. Now, that being said, I've watched like seven, eight episodes. Uh, I hope you enjoy filler. I mean, we watched Dragon Ball Z, did we not? That's true. That's true. And it's not that bad. It really isn't. It's just that like one or two episodes are like, all right, we do we need a whole episode dedicated to that? I don't think we did, but I get it. Like, you need the episode limit, but Jesus. The amount of times you saw things happen in Attack on Titan that you are like, again? That too. I I would praise... I'm going to praise Attack on Titan. There is no filler, but they do repeat yeah. certain treat, uh, things in that show. Very, uh, like, a lot. Like, literally, season by season. And like, are almost the exact same. But you complained because they kept doing it. It's because it's so good, dude. Mm-hmm. It's so good because it'll give you... Dude, they'll do it, and you're like, again, man. And then you get pissed off, and then something crazy happens. And, and then Levi, off. like, and, and then Levi farts, and we're like, <laughs> we're just like so excited for him. <laughs> all you see him is do that fucking corkscrew spin shit, cuts all yep. the off. Oh my god, that is that doesn't even make physical sense, and I I love it. I can't. I like. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like it makes zero sense and i and i love it i'm like keep it coming <laughs> i was upset how pe- how many people were obsessed with this fucker and i'm like i see it now i get it i get it one gary would have tweeted out today <laughs> what did he say i sent it to you what did he say one gary would if you don't know he's a writer of rogue one i follow him on twitter he's hilarious sometimes um let me find it let me find it I mean, yeah. And by the way, and by the way, if you if you go if you're thinking to yourself like I don't want to stick around for this, I get it. Thank you. Go enjoy. Go enjoy your weekend. We'll see you next week, next Friday. We love you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, it's gonna be faster if I do it on my phone because I sent it uh, to you. Sure, I already found his page. How dare you? All right, Gary Woody tweets out: Captain Levi Ackerman is the most badass motherfucker in all of anime. <laughs> Contradictory opinions equals blocked. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just different because it's coming from him. Like, like, like when you get it from an older man, like you know it means business. Mm-hmm. Ugh. God, Alex. Mm-hmm. 
Anything you want to leave with the Achievers that they can think about over the weekend? Something that they should check out or anything like that? Go play Star Wars. It's definitely, mm. a, it's definitely a, uh, what are they called? A, a hidden gem people don't play enough of. Okay, I like that. I like that. A hidden gem. A hidden kyber crystal? Okay. No, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. It feels forced, right? Have ah, forced. You see what I did there, Alex? Did you like that too? <laughs> I like all right, all right. Now, I'm sorry for everyone that's bleeding through their ears right now. All you hear is. <laughs> uh, you can't use that. <laughs> hey, uh, the, uh, CEO of Disney comes Bob Iger. It shows up, bro. Can't do that. Can't do that. I don't even think he's CEO anymore. I think someone else took it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I know too much. Now. Thanks so much for joining us. Listen, to Alex, go try out Star Wars. If you have a strong enough computer, it's free. It's free down. It's free to play up to level twenty. Give it a try. If you liked it, subscribe to it or whatever. If you want to, it's your prerogative. We had a good time with it. We're just continuing to have a good time with it. I have three characters right now. We're on Sh Shant Shantile Sean Shantil Sean Shantile Sean. Um, Sh Shantel Sean. Shantel the server. So if you want to play with us, hit us up on Twitter or DM us or something. And we'll hook up. Not that way, but you know what I mean. Wink. How do you spell spiel? Spiel? Yeah, like, the, like you know, like, oh, I'm giving you your, the, off, the spiel. Off the top of my head, I've never seen this written down. S-P-I-E-L. That's just off the top. And that's no way that's how it's written. It, really? Yes. <laughs> We're leaving it on a win. We're leaving on a win, everyone. I thought that it was an H before the P, but I was wrong. <laughs> We're leaving on a win, everybody. Thank you so much. And remember, before we do that, just a simple thank you. Thank you for taking the time. If you got this far, you're an achiever. Like it. Go go subscribe to this. I can't believe you. And listen to Alex Slurp. Remember. Got you. Got you.